Hey everybody, Brick Lover 18 here today with my Brick Fet Ottawa 2014 Lego haul. This was a very awesome convention, and despite only having like three vendors, I decided to buy a lot. And so that's basically, yeah, so I bought a lot of stuff, got a lot of free stuff because I was a free an exhibitor, and yeah. So, first of all, for exhibiting, you get two, one for me, one for my dad, two lanyards, our names are on the other side, not gonna, need, no need to show that, it's just the brick bet thing, sponsored by Lego Ninjago, two of those. Um, in the goodie bag, so this is everything I got in the goodie bag, you can like divide it by t one, or divide it by two because I got two goodie bags, so you wouldn't get all this. Two of these Lego Ninjago stickers, four of these Please do not touch Brickfet cards. And two capes from Mini Fig Leafs. Very cool. And two Lego Hero Factory rulers. Whatever Lego donates. Two Lego pencils, which are very cool. Have the Lego logo on them. Never seen those. Two. Whoops, they rolled right off my studio. Picking them up now. Two, set number 303110, seaplane, poly bag. Do we got two of those? My dad, I don't need to show you both. We got a couple, like, you know, Lego Club magazine inserts, stuff like that. I'll, I'll put them at the very back here because then it blocks all the other stuff. And this is all stuff that was absolutely free. We got one Ontario flag brick. Um. Now this stuff is a bit different. We got a BrickFet 2014 brick and an Ottawa brick. Mine's already on my brick badge. This is my dad's, I believe, Clone Army Customs. Three Clone Army Customs, and then this is mine. Hat, backpack, and a weapon. From Brick Warriors, I got this hat. And my dad got this whatever it is, I don't even know. So that's what we got in our goodie bag, and we also got a program guide, or not a program guide, a uh, schedule, sorry. Put that at the very back here. Like the schedules. Because I had some mocks here, we got some mock cards. This one. This one. This one. This one. And the rest of them. You know, just mock cards. Woohoo. Um, now here into the stuff that I and then I got I'll show you the other stuff I got for free. For winning the minifigure Uni Kitty contest, I got this brick belt trophy. Despite only one other entry, I got I still technically won. Because I was the only one that participated, which was very cool. And I was also won the custom minifigure. So I got two brick belt trophies from Brick Fair. Brick Fat. Um for for the, all the public got one of these, and I wasn't going to ask for one, but then when I saw how cool it was, I had to, this Brick Forge custom accessory. I only asked for one, because that's the limit, and it was these little, um, uh, I can't remember what they call that. It's terrible, but it's very cool, so I really wanted one of those. I played a Dirty Brickster game, and that was a $20 item. I brought my Harry Potter book and a custom gumball machine, and this is what I left with this vintage minifigure collection from Toys R Us 2012. Very cool. Definitely worth, and it's worth $32 on Brooklyn. I already checked, so that was, whoops. Very good deal. Glad I got that. Lots of fun this game was. Hopefully it's gonna stay up now. Um, I'll show you the prizes I won a little later on, and this is what I'll show you now. From Minifigure Leaves, I bought this really awesome camouflage tent and tent kit. Very cool here. I will do a review on this. As I will do a lot review on some other stuff here. I'm trying to find the other stuff I brought from him. One thing is in my mock, and it is a really and my mocks are all buried, so I can't get it. But it's a really awesome window. He makes custom windows and then he engraves them. So that was really awesome. I'll show you probably in another video. But I also got this cape from him. His capes are only a dollar, which is a, are a very good deal. Very, I love that cape. 
from the Neon Bricks booth. I bought a lot of stuff from them because they have some really awesome stuff. I bought other stuff from them, but I'll show you later in the haul. I bought two sets of crutches, so they're on a sprue. You break them off. I can't, it's hard to show the stuff. I bought two Sig Fig heads from them, only a dollar each. Very nice. That goes for my Sig Figs. That was bag number one. I have bag number two. As I said, I bought two sets of crutches. Set number two. I'll put a, put a bag here for all that. I got this Jack in the Box present in black. It's the only color they have, but I really wanted it. I got these bulletproof vests, I guess you could, or army vests. I got four of those, one for each NCIS character. Put all four there. This really cool he he helmet. It was only printed and everything, only a dollar. An archery pack. A deer antlers, which they were on a sprue, but I broke them. Oh well. So they're hard to display. And then two mohawks. One in lime green and one in purple. So very cool. Those were from Neon Bricks. Everything in that bag was one dollar each. Very good price. Now, from the stuff I bought at the official Brick Fair, fit Brick Fat, Brick Fat booth. These little micro builds, they were, move this stuff out of the way. Gotta, gotta have some room. These micro builds, they were four for $10, so I bought those two. I bought, what was the, where's the other thing that I bought? This pack of dishes, because I like the dishes. And the final thing for the four for $10 were these um, awesome brick fat train crates. They were actually selling these for five dollars each at Toronto, but only for two, technically two dollars and fifty cents here. So I bought two of them because I really like them, and if I ever get a train, I'll definitely use them. As well as last convention, they had these little minifigures in these little containers. Buy one for three dollars, and you get a raffle ticket. And I wasn't there for the raffle, so let's hope I didn't win or something like that. That would be bad. So I got one. Mounty figure, and I got this other guy with a QR code on him. Don't know who he is. And then, because my dad wanted to do it, I let him play, and guess what? We got another Mounty figure, so now I have five of those little Mounty figures. Other things that I got were at. This is the last thing I'm going to show you for what I actually purchased at the convention from the official vendors. I can't. I'll show you. Switching to side camera. Sorry, this is, you're going to see part of my studio. I got this, whoops, whoopsies, pretend that didn't happen. I got this food container where you fill it with Lego for only $10. You get to fill the entire container as long as it's still shut. And because it was only $10, you know, I'm like, you know what? Why not buy two? So I got two full food containers, like takeout containers. Got to fill them completely for $10, so it was a very good deal. Lots of printed parts, I can guarantee it. Now for what I bought at this yard sale event. I sold four, three things at the yard sale, three gumball machines, to one to BrickFet's creator and organizer, and another to one of the other organizers. I bought all these yellow flowers, because I'm always low on yellow flowers, for only a dollar. I bought these spider webs, because I don't have very many, and they were again only a dollar. These two things from Wolverine, the minifigure, for 25 cents. They're going to my Bricklink store because I imagine they're a good price for them. And then I got four, but I can't find one. I already lost it. Of these samurai swords. Very nice. I like them a lot. Now, that was from one grad shale person. And the next guy I bought the most from because he had some really cool stuff. I bought this Lego Racers container. It just got too much stuff. This Lego Racers container, $5.99, just kidding. It was actually sealed in a other bag from Valley Village for only, he paid $2, $1.99 for it, and he sold it to me for $2. He had never even opened it, and this is the one, is this the one that's open? Yeah, this one is open, but this one, this Lego Racers is sealed, like it has never even been opened before. So very good deal on those, $2 each. The next thing I got from him, was this really awesome vintage set. There is a sticker on it, but I'm gonna try and remove that from Lego System. 46 pieces, too many figures, 
Didn't even realize until I built it, each minifigure comes with this yellow bottom, which I need for my sig fig, so guess what's coming off these minifigures? I already built this set, because I just couldn't wait. Did not pay $5.99 for it. The next set I got was this Island Racer, this from this adventure. A car, ages 6 to 12, set number 5920. Really awesome, it comes with 49 pieces. And finally, I got this other little adventure set, set number 5913, ages 6 to 12. This car, again, has a sticker on it, but oh well. Very awesome vendor, I got that from him. All these, they're all vintage sets for a good price. I paid $15 total for all five of these sets. That's about, that works out to be $3 a set. That's an amazing deal. Now. This, I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way. You know what? Throw it at the very back here. Pot hashtag pile up the studio. Hashtag trying to film a haul video where I bought a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. So, this is the event kit from the 2013, 2014 line. It's the Toronto Town Hall. It is, so, because I went to BrickFet Toronto and this BrickFet, I'm like, I might as well get it. And it is very cool. A couple hundred pieces. And they were selling for a very good price and I actually the stru instructions are a PDF file get them online and I was actually got 17 extra pieces so that was a bonus I counted so many times thinking maybe I miscounted and stuff like that another thing I got from the brick fed auction which is like holy crap rare was this Lego gold sprue of gold coins so I'm, you know, I'm not taking this out of the package. It is so valuable and so fragile. But here's what it looks like. Let me know if you've ever seen anything like this. I've only seen it at her convention before. And I'm taking it away off the studio now. It's not waiting there. Because, yeah, it was very expensive. Cost much as, it almost cost as much as this whole haul. Um, now, so here are the pieces that I got for free. Technically. On the opening day, we did raffles and I'm gonna have to pan the camera off here so now you get to see my incredibly messy studio um, yeah look at how messy that is we got raffle tickets and there was enough prizes that everybody who was there at the opening ceremonies got a prize this is the prize that my dad got this micro world set so 466 pieces very awesome got that for free which if if I sold it, it would pretty much pay for the registration. The set that I got for free was this really awesome Spider Helicopter Rescue set. It has less pieces, but the more figures. It's got four mini figures, and it's got this. I really wanted it, I so I was very happy. And then at the closing ceremonies, there were seven huge prizes up for raffle, and I never thought that I'd grab one, but guess who won one? Woohoo! This really awesome Batmobile and the Two Face Chase. 531 pieces, ages 7 to 14. This is a retired set. $70 in Canada. And it's retired and it's all mine. Got that for free. At, at uh, Neon Bricks, they actually buy all their, like a lot of used pieces and stuff, minifigures. And they had all these instruction manuals. This is the last thing I got in my haul. They had like stickers and instruction manuals and very cool. So I got all these, so very some very vintage stuff in them some from Lego System. So I got a whole bin almost of instruction manuals that is half full. So I had so much fun at Brick Bet and if fun is ever coming to your area, I definitely recommend getting a chance to go. They're a lot of fun. Janie puts on a really, really good convention. Thanks so much for watching this haul video. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and have a great day.